What's up, y'all? I'm Andy Story with Poster Grind, your neighborhood art director that designs movie posters for a living. This is a quick and easy tutorial showing you how to mask out clouds. Now, there's numerous techniques on how to mask out clouds, but I think you're going to find this one to be the fastest, most efficient, and higher quality way of masking the clouds out. So, let's dive on in. <laughs> What? And today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way that is very down and dirty to mask out clouds. If you work in the movie poster industry, sometimes you need to have clouds masked out and ready to go to create amazing compositions or any other graphic design industry. Sometimes masked out clouds are going to come in handy regardless of whatever project you're working on. So to do this, uh, I went ahead and picked out some clouds from Envato.com, which happens to be a stock photography website that includes a commercial license with their photography and stock images. So if you are working commercially, I would suggest going over there because they have a yearly subscription that is very affordable for us graphic designers out there. Plus, Plus, if you do use them, we get a small commission for sending them business. What I should also mention is I used to do this a really slow way and inefficient way. And working in this industry, everything is about time. I would just go ahead and do select and mask and play around with those tools. But this way here, I learned from a fellow art director and artist named Sasha Vinogradava. She had a tutorial on the Adobe YouTube channel and she mentioned this in one of those tutorials and ever since then this is what i've been using and, I, and it works very very well first things first uh, you have your clouds looking pretty go to your layer panel hit up channels and then from channels you're just going to want to select on one of the, either the red the green or the blue channel and pick the channel that has the most contrast and for this situation red has a lot of contrast and we're just going to drop that down into the little plus symbol and from the plus symbol we're going to add a little bit more contrast using levels and to do that all you got to do is hit command l and that's gonna bring up your levels. And from your levels, you can just kind of play around with it and add a little bit more contrast. I'm bringing the levers in and out and you just kind of play around with your mid tones, your highlights and your shadows to kind of create as much contrast as you want. For this situation, that's all I really need. And then from here, I'm going to basically copy this image and use it for our mask. And to do that, all you gotta do is hit Command A and that's gonna select your entire canvas and then from here you're going to hit command C and that's going to make a copy and then you can just go back over to your layers and then hit the plus symbol down here to the lower right and that's going to create a new layer and on this new layer we're going to hit command C actually we're going to deselect first so hit command D to deselect and then on the new layer hit command V and now we have this beautiful contrasty black and white which we can use to create a mask but to do the mask we're going to use the burn tool so go to your burn tool and then from your burn tool make sure that we are on shadows on your range and then you can leave the exposure to 100 percent and then you can just create your or create your brush size make it a little bigger and we're just going to start brushing out darker areas and you're going to see once we have this painted out or burned out we'll be able to grab a selection and then add that mask to the bottom layer but first just go ahead and paint these so yeah, we're just burning out all the white. And from here, we can go up to select color range and then just pick with your dropper the blacks because that's what we're selecting out and then hit OK. You can always mess around with the fuzziness, but for this, I have it out of 150. Hit OK. And now you see the selection. And from the selection, we can go ahead and hit the mask icon, the little Japanese flag. I totally forgot to add this in the tutorial. I got a little carried away, but I just wanted to mention if you are having fun and learning something in this tutorial, please hit that like button now. I truly appreciate it. Thanks. And now we have a mask. And now this mask, we can go ahead and drop it on our bottom layer, the original layer, and go ahead and hide that top layer. And now you'll notice that it's inverted. So when we have the blue, we don't want the blue, we want the actual clouds. So go ahead and hit Command I, and now we have clouds masked out. And from here, we can add a bottom layer and change that bottom layer to whatever color we want. So go to your adjustment layers, and hit the solid color, hit OK, drop that layer below, 
and then you can just double click it again and now you can pick whatever color background you want which comes in handy if that's what you want to do the other cool thing is you can match your cloud color to your background if you really wanted to by just using a hue saturation and then you're just going to clip that on top so hit option command g and then from here you can play around with the colors and the hue saturation so you go to hue i'm just going to drop that over here just so you guys can see it and now you can just change the colors of your cloud to match your background and now this is a little more advanced situation depending on what like let's say you're going to drop these clouds into a comp then you can definitely play around with the colors but for now i just wanted to add that quick little pro tip just so that you kind of knew how to match it with the backgrounds easily and then from here let's say you want to drop this in another com composition or your poster or whatever you're working on you can just turn this into a smart object by right clicking convert to smart object and now you have these masked out clouds ready to go and place wherever you want on your project and you can see that they're masked out and good to be used in your artwork and the other thing is is let's say let's let's actually move that back one step so before you turn it into a smart object you can always go back in and play around with the edges by pulling out the burn tool one more time and you can burn away the edges if you if you feel like you got to touch it up at all and then this way you can kind of see with that blue background what's going on on your mask so just a couple of easy tidbits and techniques i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial go ahead and hit that like button if you learned anything and i'll see you on the next one thanks for watching poster grind